it's Rob here and welcome to this, the last of my build videos on Tamiya's Grasshopper 2 Black Edition. Today we'll be concentrating on the body, uh, starting off with the driver figure. And as you can see, I've got him all ready and cut out. And it tells you to screw the head together using a BA6 8mm screw however I'm also going to uh, put some of this contact to professional um, I think it's poly cement as well just to uh, seal it all up and what you should never forget is to install these two pieces here which is Z2 and Z3 and the Z2 goes oh, at the top with the slope slant facing upwards and that gives your summit firmer to screw into once you're connecting everything and then it should all slip together nicely but I'm just test fitting it just to make sure yeah, it's not too bad a fit it's about as good as I've had other ones so now for the mucky bit and I do always get mucky and unfortunately this comes with a sort of a needle Um, but unfortunately I managed to get it clogged up that much that uh, I couldn't free it off so uh, I'm, back, I'm down to trying to put as little on as possible using just the plastic nozzle. We can pop the screw in. to tighten everything up check me alignment there we go And then if you do use glue, don't be tempted to wipe away any excess. Um, what I tend to do is leave that and then once it's gone off and cured, I'll go around with a bit of sandpaper. Because I will be painting this, I'm not sure what colour yet. But uh, there we go. Okay folks, so uh, as you can see, I've uh, started painting, still got a bit more to do and uh, it's still a bit uh, wet in places, uh, the black I've just finished doing so uh, we've put that to one side, I've also almost finished the body, so we've got nice gold uh, seat belts, harnesses with these black supposed to be satin but it looks quite gloss to me that black does but hey and there we go so we put him to one side and while I'm waiting for the glue the glue <laughs> while I'm waiting for the paint to dry on the figure to uh, carry on and uh, finish his face off um, I've started uh, sticking stickers on I'm really quite like in this orange effect and coming back to me driver I think his helmet does quite match um, it is a gloss orange that I've got there so uh, we'll see how we go and so far decals have been really easy um, apart from, and I'm not saying it's difficult per se, 
but it is a bit fiddly is uh, this one here um, I think this one's uh, number 19 so uh, I'll show you doing that one in a second and uh, I've got another couple of, of the I think the two largest ones which do look like they could be um, rather difficult but uh, ended up not being there's quite good um, lining up points that you can uh, use and they do line up really well like so so I might show you those two speeded up maybe um, but yes I'll get cutting this one out and uh, be back in a second right let's just hope this goes as uh, good as my trial run I'll just give it a bit of a rub down try and get some of my greasy finger marks off it now there are notes here saying specifically to apply as shown which means sticking this little uh, sticky out bit first along with this edge and it goes something along the lines of there like so so what I did on the other one was to peel it back there we go and cut some off this bit and I don't normally do this but in this instance and it is quite difficult to get your fingers in so I think from memory I ended up oops, using the back of my scalpel just to position that bit and stick it down and then something along that line like so that and then the tricky bit is getting that bit under and the backing off just basically went round sticking it down as I went and eventually you get back around and you can hopefully stick it all down and the next job again because I've been manhandling it Just going to try and wipe off my finger marks, and the problem with this is the more you rub it, the more static builds up, and the harder it is. 
to get bits of fluff off. So I bond it. If this brush will do anything. That seems to have worked. There you go. And then we're going to stick this one down. And of course, as soon as I put it down, stuff gets stuck on it. And again, we're going to line it up something like so. Just check. Yeah, that should work. So, again, I'm going to cut a bit off here and hopefully we can line it up. of his eyes. This might look a mess to begin with but I'm trying to do it without getting in the way of the camera so I can't really see what I'm doing or at least the detail. we go, one zombie painted. I may have to uh, have a look close up off camera and uh, put a bit of skin back on 
or skin colour back on. So, but again, we've got to leave that to dry. So I'll carry on with some more stickers. Right, well, we're getting close to finishing now. Um, I've done all the stickers, decals on the body. I've also temporarily installed the driver, but I still haven't finished him. He's still a zombie. Um, because, I don't know about anybody else, but I generally don't like seeing all the electronics, as you can see, all the wires and stuff. So I'm going to try a bit of uh, this corrugated plastic, it's really thin, uh, it's not very strong, it's not very heavy. Um, I've cut a couple of bits of um, Velcro who can loop off and what I'm going to do I hope is fit it inside like that. Pushed up against the driver figure and then just held in place. I am looking at my test fitting, which is uh, a bit awkward, but might just be able to do it. Typical. Something like that anyway. It might stay in place once uh, if I hook it over the top of the back of the servo. Except it keeps sliding back, typical. Whoops. Like that, something like that anyway, it's just still not right. So anyway, like I say, that's what I'm uh, intending to do, just to hide most of uh, the electronics. So I'll continue, I think the paint may well be dry now on uh, my driver, so I'll unscrew him and uh, we can get putting his pupils in. For the pupils, I tend to use a toothpick and I sometimes use the very pointy bit but uh, what I discovered uh, at some point is uh, cutting the, the end off and I can do it with my scalpel and then we dip it in some black paint. Do a quick test. Seems okay. So we give it a try. And here we go. Okay, a bit more on the Right eye, we'll dip it in again. There we go, just about okay. Let's see if we can get a bit more on that one. And there we go. Again, I'll leave that to dry and then I might have a look at seeing if I can shrink that one a bit. Yep. So, we'll be back and might well be finished. Okay, so he's looking a bit better now. I've... Uh, 
gone over the, some of the uh, excess black. Um, but there we go, so I just need to screw him into... There's my screw. And hopefully this should go a bit easier this time. Except I can't see. Yeah. So that's that. And then I'm going to see if we can put this up. Something around about there. Hopefully do that and then Should do us. I hope. And then we just need to test it and hope everything's all right. And I've just noticed. Yeah, that should do us. Once the R clips are in. Holds it quite firm. The last step is to actually install the body onto the chassis and for this if you can see I've uh, put these sticky backed sponge things as protectors um, basically because uh, I'm unsure at the minute or I was unsure whether once it was on it would maybe rattle about a bit so just put them on to stop any rattle hopefully and you're supplied with these horrible tiny little R clips and you're meant to bend the loop up but I can't get on with them I'm an old fart now so uh, I've got some of these bigger ones and we simply pop them through, he says. Easier said than done. Let's try the, the other way. There we go. How weird's that? And then. These ones here. And there it is. Complete. And you can't see any of the wires. Well, you can at the back, but hey. So, with that, I hope you enjoyed watching this series and uh, look forward to seeing you on the first run. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> oh, those shocks don't work then.